Well, it's not a shame and it's not news that Chelsea were interested in signing Emily Smith Rowe this summer transfer window. And this move was blocked by Mikel Ateta, who sat down and held a conversation with Emily Smith Rowe and told him that you are going to be having enough playing time. The fear was that, was I or was Emily Smith Rowe going to get enough playing time? And Ateta went ahead and sat him down and gave him a reason as to why he cannot allow Mokalo Modric to come to Arsenal and obviously see the journey of Emily Smith Rowe come to an end at the Emirates. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? This is the Arsenal News Show, third video of the day. Hope you guys are really enjoying the vibe and we are trying to obviously bring you the latest news and information as far as Ulith is concerned. Now, the transfer window closed yesterday. I'm going to bring you all Arsenal done deals, you know, on Monday. After the game tomorrow, because I know all your focus is on to the game tomorrow, and I'd like to cover so much onto that game as far as it's concerned. So on Monday, I'm going to bring you all the Arsenal done deals, and I'm going to stream and obviously tell you what my thoughts are about those done deals of Arsenal, and every time I think I'm going to tackle it a little bit as we are into the international break and give you some breathing space. Then, he has also gone ahead and talked about the formations that would have gone ahead to obviously stop Modric from coming to Arsenal and Emily smith Rowe being one of those players that plays multiple positions. All He's a multi-dimensional player. Just went ahead to obviously make Mikel Arteta known to see the Mokalo Modric deal coming in through at the club of Arsenal. So let's see close to four hundred likes much on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a day. Remember, we are left with like 40 subscribers to hit 17,000 subscribers and guys continue to do the needful and obviously subscribe and then the rest will be history. Let's start it off with Mikel Arteta. When he was asked about the future of Emily Smith Rowe after he stayed at Arsenal and the links of Chelsea that threatened his stay at Arsenal, he said he has a role like every else does, which is to give his best to make the team better. Now, Ateta is giving us one of the reasons as to why he kept this man called Emily Smith Rowe at the club of Arsenal, that he has a role to obviously make the team better and you all know why this is like this he's the shot number 10 of arsenal he is a hell hand he's a hell end academy graduate and if at all ateta is gonna hate obviously do some good job for or from these players that came in from the hell end academy how will he stop from obviously not getting the best out of emily smith rowe and i think what really delayed his exposure or explosion where the injuries he got last season that is the calf injury that saw him out for some Time. So Emily Smith Rowe is obviously in the plans of Mikel Ateta and Ateta just wants him to know that he has him in his plans. Now, on holding conversations with with uh, Emily Smith Rowe as far as rumors linking him out of the club of Arsenal were concerned because he was not got he was not getting enough playing time and it looked like he would struggle to get into the starting eleven of the team of Mikel Ateta. Ateta had the following to say. That, obviously, I have conversations with him and it's important for him to understand where he is. It was always going to be tricky in the first three or four weeks, not just for us, but for all of the clubs. When you see all of the rumors about all of the players that aren't playing are unhappy, not only in this country, but in every country because it's fast, it's one game per week for a month and everybody has started the new season with huge aspirations and there is not minutes for everybody but september will be a different month altogether that's what michael ateta had to sit down emily smith and tell him that please however much else is coming in through and obviously promising you playing time but it's not that i'm not going to get enough playing time at arsenal the problem is right now we are playing one game but when september knocks at the door we are obviously going to be playing like two games per week and you are going to get enough playing time because even chelsea that wants to take you they are only playing in one competition premier league carabao cup will come in once in a while fa cup starts next year but for us as no we are going to play in the champions league carabao cup and that means we're going to be busy from september up to december so 
expect enough playing time. Mr. Emily Smith throw away. And I'm not interested in Mokalo Modric from Chelsea because he is not as good as you are, according to us. And you are a very valuable asset to Arsenal because you represent our history of Arsenal from the Hell End Academy through all the ranks of the Academy. And now you are the shot number 10 of Arsenal, one of the shot numbers that we've seen very many players that are really talented done. For example, Dennis Bergkamp put on that shot number, Mesut Ozil put on that shirt number and it had been rest it had been it had been rested for some time and we directed it on you meaning that we see a lot of potential in you so i think emily smith will listen to that and said all right i'm not going to go to chelsea because there is more opportunities to play games at arsenal than at chelsea that is it so that is how Mikel Teta calmed down the situation of emily smith Rowe and showed him a brighter brighter future at arsenal obviously you know that it takes some time for a player from injury to obviously pick up and get where he obviously has to go, like the form that Emily Smith Rowe was at in the season of 2021-2022. He was a very, very good player. Can I tell you what? He was a very, very good player. And I think that season, he obviously competed with Bukayo Saka onto the Arsenal player of the season. And I think the fans voted for Bukayo Saka, but Emily Smith Rowe also gathered some good votes from the fans of Arsenal because he put in a shift that very few people could put in at the club of Arsenal. So that is it for Ateta on Emily Smith Rowe. And those are some of the reasons he gave on to not letting him go and leave to go to Chelsea. And he sat him down and told him, please, I'm not interested in Mukalo Modric. I'm interested in you staying here. The other reason that Ateta gave was all about the formations that keep changing in every game. And this is the reason he had to say. And it also reflects on to why he wants to keep <coughs> Emily Smith Rowe other than getting in Mokalo Modric. Ateta, on whether all players can play multiple formations, he said every player has to do it. Unconsciously, it's possible, but every player has to do it. Some of them do it cautiously, unconsciously, provoking the right thing making the right decision and other and others they just do it naturally so when you look at all this it's it was aimed to obviously get out the comparison to me between Mokalo Modric and Emily Smith Rowe because Emily Smith Rowe can play multiple positions and in every position they're gonna hate to play him he has gonna hate to excel he can play as a left forward he can play as a central midfielder like in a number eight position, he can play as a central attacking midfielder. He can play as a right forward. So in all of those positions, he has gone ahead to thrive. And Ateta knows it very well that this is one of the jewels he has in his crown that has to keep very well. Because Mokalo Modric cannot give you what Emily smith Rowe gives you. Emily smith Rowe is a Premier League proven player. And Mokalo Modric is not yet a Premier League proven player. He's struggling to obviously get into those levels. And this is his debut season for Chelsea because the other one just came in through and he played in January. And there are a lot of understanders at Chelsea. But with Pochettino coming in through, he's trying to obviously make him better. And Chelsea is showing you that they are ready to put him as a make way to get in Emily Smith Rowe. It's a confirmation that maybe Pochettino is seeing something that won't work out in the player side so that is it coming in from the formations of arsenal and we all know that emily smith Rowe fits in these formations like a glove then he was asked on whether those formation changes are the new are the new is the new thing in football that every manager should back on to obviously sign on players he said it depends a lot on the opposition against man city they are more because they changed formation more so there is a lot of sequences of play that permit that permitted more structures so it's different so <clears throat> ateta is obviously trying to explain to us that the game of football is going to have to change he needs multi-dimensional players not a player that can only thrive as a left forward because for emily for mokalo mod we can only thrive as a left forward and that's where he's going to have to make his name but for players like emily smith rowe he will thrive in everywhere you want him to be playing at the club of Arsenal. So he has his strong reasons. I was going to hate to back them up on why he, pick, he picked Emily Smith-Rowe over Mokalo Modric. 
and he really had to stand in the way of this transfer because Chelsea had shown interest in him but after Arsenal saying no and obviously backed out of that Chelsea went in for Cole Palmer from Man City and that's what everything really came onto that level so guys your thoughts on Ateta picking Emily Smith Rowe over Mokalo Modric are welcome in the comment section below do you think the reasons I'm gonna hate to give are really genuine because for me he attacked all these questions as reference or in reference to what the difference is between Mikaela Tate, sorry, Mokalo Modric and Emily Smith Rowe. Tomorrow Arsenal is taking on Arsenal. Sorry, Arsenal is hosting Man United at at the Emirates, and we're going to be here trying to bring you the latest news and information as far as this is really concerned. And we'll be doing lots of things later to let you know what the man is going to have to say about this fixture that is hugely weighted worldwide i cover you all in the precious blood of jesus christ may the living true god bless you abundantly my muslim friends and viewers and subscribers barak lau fikum see you letters i'm out